Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and as you've by now no doubt noticed, I really like to tell the stories of rare species of plants, especially trees that are adapted to a cycle of disturbances. I told you about the seaside alder that grows only along the Blue River of Oklahoma and is adapted to a cycle of flooding and then re-sprouting from those floods. I also told you about the Torrey pines that grow near San Diego, and they're adapted to a cycle of fires. They're able to grow, and as they grow, their cones develop, but their cones do not open. They will only open unless a fire passes through and bakes them open and the seeds fall out. The same thing happens with this species. This is the bishop pine, Pinus muricata. And this is a small population of bishop pines that's found only in the Parisima Hills north of Lompoc, California. These are the same hills that consist almost entirely of diatomite. And when I first started studying this species, I began to think that the fact that the bishop pines exist only in this one location, its main range is actually about 100 miles away, but in this part of the coast of California, they're found only in this one location, I began to think that it had something to do with the unusual soil characteristics. Well, that may not actually be the case. However, it's still an interesting example of a fire cycle. The bishop pines grow, and they produce cones. You may or may not be able to see that this cone is mature, but it has not opened, and it will not open unless you put it through a fire. Then it will open and drop the seeds out, and what you will have is a forest of bishop pines will be replaced by a solid growth of bishop pine seedlings, so that they're able to outcompete any other possible species that may grow in their place. Now, this pine actually requires fire for its reproduction. If a fire does not pass through, these cones will not open. But fires do pass through about once every 30 years or so. There was a fire here in 1964. There was a fire here most recently about 1995. Now, that doesn't happen with the Torrey pine, because the Torrey pines grow near San Diego with its expensive real estate. And of course, people don't like to have fires there. But this is up in the Parisima Hills. There's not enough water here for extensive development, probably it's not going to be turned into houses anytime soon. Certainly, there are not very many houses around here. So, when a fire does break out, it gets brought into control, but it's not really considered a big emergency. And so, fires do still pass through here, renewing the population about once every 30 years. There's another interesting story that this pine will have to tell us. This is a small, isolated, peripheral population of bishop pines. The main population is found about 100 miles north of here. There are isolated populations of the species as far south as Baja, California, which is about 300 miles away. Genetic studies have shown that this population of bishop pines is different enough from the others that they do not crossbreed very easily. This shows evolutionary differentiation in small populations adapting to local conditions. That has produced, over time, different species of closed cone pines. Pinus radiata, the Monterey pine, up near Monterey. The bishop pine, Pinus miraceta, this one, a little bit south of there. The digger pine, Pinus coulteri, which is found in other coastal hills. And also the torrey pine near San Diego. So they've differentiated into these different species. And within species, you have different populations that have adapted to local conditions. Perhaps this local population is adapted, after all, to the diatomite substrate, even though the species as a whole is not. It's the same situation that you see with the chaparral, which also is adapted to a fire cycle, only instead of having pine trees, it has little shrubs. And you will find little shrubs adapted to a fire cycle in different parts of the world. You'll find the chaparral here in California, the matorral in Chile, the garrigue in France, and the finboss in South Africa. This is an example of convergent evolution, entirely different species converging upon the same adaptations in these different parts of the world. Convergent evolution is an important aspect of evolutionary theory. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho, and amen.